Your interaction with ADA Binger was one of the most fascinating moments of this most. trial. Your videos that you have captured of these incidents that you call riots, they're very uh, slanted against the people who are rioting. You characterize them as Antifa, Black Lives Matter, rioters, correct? Because they are rioting in the footage, yes, absolutely. Um, it was tense. You know, it, it was tense as you sat on the, on the witness stand. I'm just curious, we saw it through the television screen. The entire atmosphere within the courtroom, could you tell me about that? C could you read the jury as you sat in there? What was the atmosphere between you and Binger and the entire courtroom altogether? Well, it was very tense, and I could definitely tell that Binger himself saw me as a threat, and here's why. I'm not only an eyewitness uh, in this trial, in this case, and what happened, I had over a hundred body cam videos, literally from that night, that I documented, that I submitted both to the defense and the prosecution to the state so that the jury could have the absolute truth and make a decision for themselves. That's why Binger attempted to discredit me so many times and try to point out all these things that I'm biased and this and that to try and slander uh, my credibility and assassinate my character on live TV, but it obviously did not go well for him uh, because when you're arguing with the truth, it's just not a good look for you. And I'll tell you this, every time I would mention, all right, under oath, Antifa, rioters, arsonists, looters, the prosecutors would just sit there, smirk, put their heads down, and laugh at me as if I was telling a lie. I was not telling a lie. I have it all on footage. The right. footage itself is not biased, you know? So it's like, you could just watch it for yourself. Watching Kyle just buckle, uh, literally collapse, that was not some punk kid that realized he just got off the hook. Mm -hmm. That was a human being that understood that his life was literally on the line, that a lie was about to put him behind bars for the rest of his life. And you literally watched a human being uh, experience freedom, the entire weight of the world lifted off his shoulders because he was about to lose his freedom based on a lie. I mean, the fake news media cartel has been painting him to be this white supremacist that showed up to Kenosha to shoot a bunch of black people as an active shooter, which is 100% false. That's 100% yeah. false. And that's not my opinion. I was there from night one. I'm getting phone calls, okay? I've been getting phone calls from people saying, hey, Drew, I had no idea that Kyle did not shoot any black people. I had no I idea. <laughs> there are literally millions of people in this country that still believe right now that Kyle Rittenhouse was a white supremacist on a rampage, an active shooter that showed up to Kenosha to shoot black people. It's just simply not true. Kyle Rittenhouse shot and killed a convicted child rapist, yes. Joseph Rosenbaum himself, that was charging him from behind. America could decide for themselves whether that's a psychopath and a threat or not.